Chris, what is our fourth main topic today? This comes from Vinshu M. Hello, John and team. I must admit, I wasn't really interested in Sandman as I never read the comics and none of my friends had either. But after hearing you guys talk about it, I gave it a shot. I'm so glad I did. The show uh, of beautiful is beautiful and is driven by story rather than pointless action that most of these kinds of shows rely on. I'm seven episodes in and loving it. It seems many people checked uh, it out. It has the number one spot on Netflix. What are your thoughts on this? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in. And of course, a couple of days ago, Rob gave his first quick impression like after uh, Sandman dropped. I think you were six episodes in at that yep. time. I, uh, myself and Ann have started watching. We are now four episodes in. We've we've gotten through the uh, uh, the fourth episode now. And I got to tell you, I, I think this show is wonderful. Like it's it's great. Do I like it as much as say Peacemaker or or uh, you know or the boys or anything like that? No, but it's a very different kind of show. Mm -hmm. Very very different. And you're right. Like I love what you said in your message there. It's not crash bang action fight scene blah blah. It, it's none of that actually. Like none of it. It's just mythology and story. You know, it's like it's like some of the old uh, Greece myths and stuff like that. Like it's almost like. I, 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 it's hard for me to come up with something to compare it to, but I have just been soaking in it. I love the main character. Morpheus is a, is a great central character. And I know one of your things that didn't really work for you, Rob, was Robert, Patton, Robert Pattinson, yeah. uh, Patton Oswalt <laughs> as, as the crow. Oh, I've come around on that. Have you? Because, you know, it actually, when he first starts speaking, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's, it's, it's, Pat Nuzzle, but after a couple, I'm like, you know what? No, the voice fits the personality of the bird. Mm -hmm. yep. And I'm like, this is actually working for me. Um, everything from Gwendolyn Christie as Lucifer was amazing. I won't give away the scene, but the, the scene between Morpheus and Morningstar were fantastic. I have loved everything. And then you go to these side characters. They layer in all these side characters and things like that. And they have the time to really soak in it. And you have Professor Lupin in there. And what it's just, I have loved it. But I did not expect it to have a massive audience. Sandman is one of those things that even amongst comic readers, that's not for all, just because you're a comic <laughs> reader, you wouldn't necessarily like Sandman. A lot of people clearly do. But it is, it shot immediately to the number one spot on Netflix. This comes to us. Uh, or I, I don't have a thing here, but Netflix, this is on Variety. Netflix's top 10 Sandman debuts at number one above everything else. And I got to say, as much as I have liked the show, this surprised me. Because I, with the trailers and the promos for it, it really didn't look a lot like it would appeal to a massive non-genre audience, right? Now, granted, this is Netflix. This isn't box office. But still, I got to say, I'm thrilled for it. I've been really enjoying the show. I'm only four episodes in. I can't wait to watch the rest. Guys, we want to take a second and thank the sponsor of this video, Helix Sleep. Guys, let me tell you, just a couple of days ago, Ann and I received our Helix mattress, and it is the best mattress we have ever slept on in our entire lives. We had like this $3,000 specialized mattress that we got like five, six years ago, and we liked it very much, but this one completely outdoes it. It's night and day and you can get matched with your perfect mattress too. See, Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just like a minute to complete, and it matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for somebody else? With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way that you sleep. I hopped online, took the Helix quiz, and Anna and I were matched with the perfect mattress for us, and it is so easy to set up. Simply take it out of the box, get it positioned on your mattress, take off the plastic, and then give it an hour to to breathe to reach its full size and you will not believe how comfortable this thing is. All you got to do is go to helixsleep.com slash campia. Take their 60 second sleep quiz and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. And it's risk free. They have a 10 year warranty and you get to try it out for 100 nights. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Helix even has financing options and flexible payment plans so a great night's sleep is never far away. And here's the best part. Helix is offering up to $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com com slash campia rob uh you're now all the way through the show twice uh how did you enjoy it and then w were you a little bit surprised to see that it debuted at number one first of all i was happy i the sandman's my favorite comic series of all time i would dare say that i think this is one of the greatest comic adaptations ever done 
And there, there, there's a lot of, I've, I've been reading a lot of chatter online from purists that are like, well, they had, they've, they, what they did was they had to take a lot of things out. And for instance, I'll give you an example since you've already watched episode four. In the well, original, remember, there's some people who probably haven't seen yeah, it. Right. But, it but, but, but in episode four, there's a, there's a, call it a battle. Right. Battle. In the comic, the battle happens with somebody else. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Who, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and they changed it for the better. And I think what they've done in this adaptation is because the first eight, so the Sandman represents the first two books of the comic, about 12 issues of the comic book. So you've got Preludes and Noct Nocturnes, which is book one, and then A Doll's House, which is book two. A Doll's House is very different. Yes. When you get to episode seven, the the whole show changes. It's all It's like watching a different show. And the Sandman is like that. It's an anthology. And there's a lot of people that, well, you know, I really like the first half, but I didn't like the second half. I love, I, the, A Doll's House was never my favorite comic book, uh, Sandman story. I loved what they did in the series. Loved it. And I'm telling you, the way, the way they stick the landing so hard, I think the show is, is it, it looks incredible. And by the way, I had a problem when I first watched it. I swear to God, whatever they did, it looks different. When I went back the second time and watched it, I'm like, they've changed. Somebody flipped the switch because the even even the episode um, six, which is the beginning of, it, it's called The Sound of Her Wings. Even that episode, the color is different. I don't know what they did. They, it looked, some, someone made a mistake. The show looks incredible. I mean, when I first watched it, I'm like, why is it so dark? Something It looked like there was a mistake that was made. I swear to God, they fixed it though. Man, I can't tell you how much I love the show. I've watched it twice. I, my, I, I, they could not. I can't imagine them doing a better adaptation of this show. Wow! And if it gets a second season, they're going into a, a season of mists, which is my favorite salmon story. It's like the greatest thing ever. And if they get there, this show requires, like you said, a certain sensibility. And I was saying this on another stream. I said, you know what? If you love the movie Amelie. This, this is going to sound weird. If you if you like Amelie and things like that, you will love the show. Because there's a lot of people like, this show is so boring. You have to have a certain sensibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, again, if you're looking for the the smash pow explosions kind of thing. But even like you mentioned a battle, right? It's really more like Vincini and the Dread Pirate Roberts. Yeah. Yeah. Battle, it's really more like that kind the, of a battle. The first game. It's the first, they call it, I guess, the called first game. And there's a lot of talk about how death the character of death the iconic character of death has been race swapped but one of the things that they talk about in this show is that the endless these characters they're anthropomorph they're anthropomorphizations of concepts mm -hmm. really well do you see neil gaiman's response to people complaining oh. Oh, about it's it been amazing. Uh, yeah neil gaiman is like shut people down well like, oh. as you know Working. you actually see dream is a black man for a moment in episode four, because yeah. because he was there when the first peoples existed on Earth, and they make a point of it, because the first human beings were black. So you see the Sandman black. So it makes sense. It's not. It's exactly. There's also an, epi an issue of the Sandman where the Sandman's a cat. You're gonna love it. Yeah. No. Probably not. <laughs> You're gonna love it. <laughs> I love this show so much. I, I've watched twice. I can't believe that they made a show that's so beautiful and so handsome and they've done such a good job of adapting it and the changes they've made, especially in the first to the first eight stories, it was kind of steeped in DC history. They've had to remove mm -hmm. that. Dude, I watch a show. I, 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 I was, I watched the, I ended the doll's house for the second time again last night and I welled up, dude. Chris, have you had a well chance done. to start watching Sam? Yeah, yet? I, I watched doll's house last night and John Cameron, oh my, oh my God! Oh my God! The fact that, that, by the way, you had two different headwigs in the same oh episode. I'm like, because because the person who plays Desire, mm -hmm. also with three names, also was headwig. Yeah. On stage. Oh, and Desire's incredible. Oh my God! Uh, I, I, oh. That casting is so great. Girl, I, oh, it's so good. And the girl so they had good. to play Despair, even though she's only been there briefly. Perfect. Casting. Man, it's great, and I'm I'm so glad you said something about the look of it being corrected because once i started watching it too it was all right i know i'm not as discerning as rob yeah, but me too. This I, was like, I was waiting for it to look great. wrong no no right, they, yeah. they did something because uh, also in when you're watching trailers like promos for this like interviews mm -hmm. the stuff from roderick roderick's it, burgess's, was, place, burgess's yeah. was, was 
dark and I, you mm-hmm. could tell something they fixed whatever it was yeah. that I had an objection because it's to. gorgeous I think it's such a wonderful adaptation of this too because what the comics do as well is it's not linear storytelling because they don't exist in a linear fashion right. they're endless they're entities so you also have these little things peppered in that are later storylines right with some historic figures and things like that and so if there is a season two which I really think there will be please, it's please, gonna please. be so fun to ha- go back to these other kind of stories that have been just teased and see how those come to fruition it's so good if you are not a comic fan i think this is a great show for you still if you like mythology if you're just looking at what the human experience is i think this is a wonderful show that appeals to so many audiences and there's eye violence and i'm okay with it the visuals are trippy too like it's like i'm tripping balls when yeah. I'm watching. i have to say the <laughs> the effects dude are incredible and for a tv show yeah the design of hell in episode four all that was Gorgeous. I you know don't like I'm that I'm attracted on to the Corinthian. One? That makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> you know why I'm only on episode one? Because you fell asleep. Because. <laughs> and still signed in to the Netflix on my TV. And I do not want to butt, butt them out. So I have to wait till like 1 a.m. to actually watch anything. Okay, <laughs> that explains it. Because I have been promising, okay, <laughs> asshole, you so nearly got me in trouble. Because Ann and I, like I promised Ann I would wait to watch episode one of Sandman with her, right? Oh, tell so her. we sit down, we, we sit in the new theater room, <laughs> open up Netflix, go to Sandman, and it says, continue with episode two. Oh. And Anne looked at me like, you, you watched episode one it? already. <laughs> like, I haven't watched oh. anything. What's Max, baby? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? And like, in my head, I'm thinking. Tell her, tell her. In tell my head, I'm, I'm thinking. Sorry. Ray. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am very sorry. By the way, th- you just identified this is. No, a- you tell her because she still okay. thinks I'm lying. I to will her. tell her. This I is will a tell real her. problem because I've been accused of this too. Like, you watch this without me. I'm like, baby, I didn't. Yeah. This is, this is something, somebody needs to do an episode of a sitcom about this very thing. I have yeah. a feeling when it's Netflix comes issue. out and announced, mm-hmm. announces that they are officially launching <laughs> the pay for somebody else outside of your household, they're going to call it the Ray Aura rule. <laughs> I'm almost positive they're going to call it the Ray Aura rule. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Netflix v. Ray Aura. <laughs> <laughs> Question is for you. What do you think about this? Sandman is surprisingly popular. It debuts at number one on Netflix. Have you guys had a chance to watch it yet? If so, what have your thoughts been? I'm only four episodes in, but I'm loving what I'm seeing. Whatever your thoughts are, jump you down to the, the comments section below and leave those thoughts there.